back. We have started a new segment here on KVU Midday. It is called Made in Austin when we feature Austin grown companies. Texas French bread has been serving up freshly baked artisan breads, pastries, and desserts from scratch to Austinites since 1981. That's a long time. <laughs> Joining me today is Murph Wilcott. He's with Texas French bread. Welcome, Murph. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. We appreciate your being here, and it's so important for us to feature products and businesses that are made in Austin. What does that mean to you, to be made in Austin? Well, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting time to sort of be in the niche that we're in. A, a lot of the businesses that started, uh, you know, back in the 80s when uh, my family started Texas French Bread, um, have fallen by the wayside. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some of them very recently, uh, Ruby's Barbecue, for instance, right so down true. the street from us, just closed a, a couple weeks ago. But um, uh, we uh, are feel like we're we're hanging in there for the long haul. Uh, there's, a, there's a few other ones. There's Thread Girls. There's Texas Chili Parlor. Some, mm -hmm. some of the businesses that actually Jeffrey's was uh, my mom's uh, first uh, client for bread. And uh, they're uh, like like us. They look a little different than they do back in uh, 1981, but uh, they are obviously still a, a very strong restaurant business. And what was the hope when Texas French Bread was created? I don't know that there was a hope. Uh, I think my mom was hoping to not have to work at the University of Texas anymore where her uh. Uh, day job was. <laughs> but, um, she really enjoyed making bread, uh, particularly uh, uh, simple French bread that uh, was a recipe that was based on uh, Julia Child's cookbook. And, oh. um, she made it for a Mardi Gras party for uh, Ron Juan and Peggy Weiss, uh, who owned Jeffrey's uh, along with Jeff Weinberg. And they asked her if she would make it for their restaurant. And, one thing led to another. But. That's amazing. And what do you have to say to people who have supported uh, the business all these years? Uh, well, I'm super grateful for that, but I, I guess uh, one of the reasons why I really like coming on shows like this is mm -hmm. gives me an opportunity to try to invite people who don't uh, already know us. We have a lot of regulars who come in all the time, and sometimes I, I feel like when you've been around that yes. long, you can be a little bit invisible and people can even feel a little bit intimidated about, well, maybe that place is not for me because mm -hmm. it's not new. I only moved here five years ago or 10 years ago or three years ago or whatever it was. Right, so we're um, gonna help them out. We're right, gonna put the information that, right here on the screen. <laughs> they have it, the address is right there. Why not try something new if you haven't? Stop by Texas French Bread right here in Austin. Murph, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we want you to stick around. We'll be right back.